So originally when I started writing Boys in the Trees, it was set modern day and they all had mobile phones, they uploaded things to YouTube, they were on Instagram and I just found it kind of boring. I found it really undramatic and things were getting in the way, the technology wasn't helping. So I started to look back to when the last time would have been that these teenagers could have lived off the grid and been on their own, truly alone in the night. And I happened upon 1997, and once I started to research that year, it was like a gold mine. There were so many ideas and possibilities that came out of it. I guess the aesthetic of my films comes a lot from what I grew up watching. I think growing up in the 80s and in the 90s, there were so many really vivid, imaginative storytellers who created such enchanting worlds, and that became what cinema was to me. I was used to it transporting me into a magical place, you know, with people like Steven Spielberg or Joe Dante, Richard Donner, Tim Burton. So I guess that's what I grew to love. And with this film, I really wanted to make something that reminded me of that time. I really enjoy working with younger actors because they're so enthusiastic. They've got so much energy and they, their whole lives are ahead of them, so there's no cynicism. They look to the future and they're very positive and they're enjoying learning and forming their paths. So it's really fun to watch that and be a part of it. 